washes. I'm just going to take these off the uh, off the H bone here. Um, just run my knife down here, and we've got the. Let's see if I can find these. I do the other way around actually. Let's find the ball and socket joint. Just here, just tend it a bit. Move your knife around. What you want to do now is try and get as much of the chump steak as possible. The chump is this top part here. So I'll put my knife against the back of the H bone. And this round on the top here. This one. Tips of the uh, tips of the fillets, so they're only tiny bits, but they're, they're worthwhile salvaging. What you'll see here is you've got a quarter of silver skin on these. You've got a, a gland at the top here. We need to take all this off and tidy it up because again, when you cook, it'll just shrink, and uh, it's not particularly pleasant. So. Inside of the leg, first of all, I'm going to just get my knife just here, just gently. Not my shank. This bit here is going to come off. Little cuts for you, so you don't want to go too deep because otherwise you'll start to nick the nick the flesh like that. Or even worse, you can actually penetrate the seams, and that will then sort of mean that the, the it's less easy to tie to look nice. Okay, so it's a nice clean haunch now. Put a little bit on the end here. Okay, that's one. So I'm going to take the. Um, Take the shank off now, just run my knife down here. Now I find this will be easier from the inside. Just get to find your knuckle straight through here. And you can just use the tip of your knife just to expose it. Just run down the end. So we have our one haunch. Now what we're going to do with these, is just tidy that up a little bit. So we're just going to French trim these. So we just take our uh, knife and we'll just run my down around the closer to the meat that I'm actually going to cut. Let's use the... Nice and tight. Nice, easy, easy cutting. So you don't go at it too hard because you want a nice... A nice straight cut there. So with a nice French trim shank. Do the same on this one. So we're going to Trim this off first of all. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to seam this out into its three different uh, muscle groups. Um, I find it's easier on the inside. And what you've got, you've got a, a fat end here, a thin end here. This is your sort of your top side. Um, I'm going to get my knife on the top end of this, and you'll see you only need the tip this much of the knife and just, just run it just down the side the top of the femur there so you're not actually cutting into the meat and now what we do again just the more you score the meat the more you sort of um, you leave it open for leaching um, sort of juices and you obviously want to keep it as, uh, sort of as juicy as possible plus that doesn't look great and if you're sort of trying to cut it if you're a chef trying to cut portions you want them as universal as, universal as possible so Nice clean bone. Got your little patella kneecap in here. And then out. So there we go, that's our bone haunch, nice and tidy. So what we've got here, we've got this the chump steak, this piece here. You've got your top side here. And a lot of this can just be done with the fingers really. It's only got a little bit that needs a little needs a, needs a nick. And then so you can just literally pull these apart. 
upside. This has got a cap on it. I'm not. I'm just going to leave that on um, because that actually, if you're cooking on the barbecue, you can get that. Just get it searing hot, like black hot, and then you can just whack that on that side in first. Get that cremated, and then you've got that as like a keeps the uh, this part just beautifully moist, so it gets the benefit of the heat, but without the getting dried up. Because like I say, there's not a lot of fat through it, hardly at all. That's the top side. You then got your little salmon cut here. Tiny little muscle salmon cut. This is the top of your, um, this bit here is the top of the shank. That always, not a lot you can do with that, apart from sticking the dice pile here. Now, what you get on all of these is your um, sciatic nerve with a gland at the bottom of it. You want that out. Just trim it out there. Rubbish palm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seam this down here. So you've got your top round here and you've got your silver side on here. So I'm just going to seam that out. Again, you can just pop those, pop those apart. Top round with some your uh, You can keep going on this thing really, just put it apart. Silver side. Can you make some jerky out of this piece here? Nice long, nice long strips. Um, make jerky out of that and that. Again, these little bits. They 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 look quite. They're quite small, but just they've got their own little sort of cooking. Well, you can do anything with it. You can have it like this kebab sort of just fried up. This, is, like I say, is fantastic. You just cook that as a, as a big piece on the barbecue and then slice it. That slices brilliantly. Um, or you can put a little bar of fat on it and have like a mini roast. Right, that's all we're just going to do is one, one large joint, roasting joint, so. I'm just going to put some string on this one really just to hold it together. So, like the last one, butterfly it out. No big score marks for it, so try and keep it as entire as possible. I'm taking that nasty gland out of there. Okay, sort of roasting joint. Yeah. So we've got our two uh, strip loins, saddle strip loins here. We've got our tenderloin uh, here, which have been broken into, sort of like butterflied out for sort of like a um, steak sandwich or something. We've got a silver side there. This is part of the uh, the rump, uh, like um, chump, I should say. This is your uh, top side joint. You've got your bottom round here two French trim shanks, and we have a haunch joint there. And we have over here uh, some trim. This is all going to sausage and burgers. And uh, yeah, that's one robot.